If you look at the word rivalry, it comes from the Latin root for rivalis, meaning two people who share the same banks of the river. So water has always been a contentious issue. And I think the real key is, is how do countries negotiate and come to some reasonable solution, cooperative solution, on a shared resource. 145 countries share international rivers. Things are becoming more intense now because the population is growing at such a, an alarming rate. So agriculture is competing with municipal, which is competing with industry, which is competing even also with energy. One of the things that we know is that extremes, such as floods, such as, such as droughts, can have an enormous drag on the economy of the countries and also have huge negative impacts on local communities. So I work a lot on floods, so I do a lot in trying to help countries strengthen their ability to manage floods. I work a lot in the irrigation sector. Because agriculture is such a big user of water, anything we can do to improve the efficiency of those systems will make more water available for other uses. Um, I work a lot also on institutions to better manage water resources. Water knows no boundaries, and so um, unfortunately, the way we've organized ourselves as humans don't always match the way water is, is organized. The global water problems will really require everyone working together. These are extremely complex issues, and that's why you know, I think Johns Hopkins is great to pull together faculty from different parts of the university to give that sort of perspective.